films have a lot of copyright rights within it, but all of those rights you have to buy to, to, to acquire the right to use them in your own production. And lots of people, I think, think that because something's on YouTube, it's fine for them to, to, to use themselves in, in their own production. Um, but actually, YouTube um, is very keen and good at policing copyright infringement, uh, so that if something is broadcast on YouTube that infringe, infringes copyright, YouTube actively takes steps to uh, take it down to make sure that the, 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 the rights are not infringed. Uh, whereas other file sharing companies that are trying to profit from infringement, um, you know, get closed down and actually there are people now being extradited to the US to face criminal prosecutions for, you know, Ill illegal file sharing. If you've had a film produced for you and you've paid for that, then you will have paid for a specific um, license, a, a specific collection of rights. So you may have paid for the right to put it on your own website, but then that wouldn't allow you, for example, to go to a conference at a big hotel in uh, Heathrow Airport and, and uh, play that film to uh, a big gathering there. So you have to be careful about what you've actually bought, what rights have you paid for, because generally speaking the copyright will be retained by the film producer subject to whatever he has licensed to you. You can be clever yourself and, and create your own work but otherwise whenever you are trying to use somebody else's work within your own produ production you have to approach the person that owns the copyright and actually negotiate terms where you can license the use for your own work.